Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Hawkmoon bosses. I'm pretty sure all of them are done. There has been three weeks and I wanted to wait specifically so I can showcase all of the bosses. So if you want to look at the guide before that, before getting to the bosses, I'll have it in the description below. That one should go first, but this is specifically just talking about the bosses and what strategies I used. Some of the strategies are pretty viable and some other ones are just kind of fucking weird so let's talk about the first boss but before we start talking about the first boss so before we start with the video i just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics so if you could do me a favor and subscribe hit that bell notification i would very much appreciate it if you like my content if you like just me in general that would really help me out so on with the video with that out of the way let's talk about the first boss so the first boss is going to be a taken knight which is not really surprising i think the hardest part about this actual encounter is the fact that out of all the other bosses this one has the most enemies and the most just dumb shit. so what do i mean by that essentially you have not only the taken boss himself but you also have taken knights that actually do come out with solar shields you have taken goblins that can shield enemies you have the taken acolytes with that have a void shield and since they're acolytes taken acolytes specifically they can actually spawn in taken uh what is it called acolyte eyes which basically are annoying little turrets so if you want you can use like borealis uh hard light those two specific weapons are basically weapons that can change your burn i wouldn't recommend any of those i would recommend you do what i'm doing right now currently which is essentially using a void weapon as your energy weapon and a solar weapon or a solar heavy weapon you can use whatever you want i was just using specifically the lament because it does give you health regen and i wasn't going invis for this so if you guys notice my build, it is a little weird, mostly because I am using uh, Way of a, a Thousand Cuts, if I remember correctly. That one, that super specifically is not the best, I know. The only th reason I was using it was mostly because I wanted to use it against uh, the knights specifically, because the knights, if you're not careful, will destroy you. Don't, don't forget they have their boomer uh, weapon that shoots far, far away. And they can also shoot uh, an AOE fire that can instantly melt you. So if you're not careful, they will destroy you if you don't respect that. So I just suggest be careful with it. If you want, you can use another weapon aside from the Lament. You could use Xenophage. Xenophage is a really good weapon, especially since you don't have to get up close and personal with the Knights. Uh, again, I would highly recommend you get a void energy weapon because a lot of acolytes will spawn and if you don't take the acolytes out they will be spawning acolyte eyes which is just another layer of annoyance that you need to take care of so honestly the pretty much only annoying thing is the ad control you're going to want to spec for ad control because that's the biggest thing here uh as you guys can see i was using boss damage with my raid sniper not saying the raid sniper is bad but it, I'm not using any of the heavy hitters like Anarchy, Insert, Incredible Weapon here. I'm not using any of that. I'm literally specking out for ad control only. And a lot of it is going to be like all the bosses are really gonna, just going to be you specking out for, for that specifically. Because the bosses are really the least worrying part about the whole encounter, honestly. Like, so that's the first week uh i hated it <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you guys i i hated this boss i think everything was just too much like well i say too much but i did it i didn't do it flawless though i did not do it flawless i ended up doing flawless my second week which is probably my favorite boss because i ended up doing that flawless completely blind i did not have hard light or borealis the weapons i think you should be using so let's talk about the second week to him um the only thing is that after you kill every ad you can start shooting him and then i think once you do enough damage he goes into an immune stage and spawns more enemies if i remember correctly the taken captain is actually you can actually you have to take his shield down so let's talk about the enemies real quick 
you have the boss himself, you have glowing taken acolytes. So these glowing enemies will actually drop balls of light that you have to throw to the enemy. Essentially kill acolyte, acolyte drops ball of light, ball of light throw to the boss and the boss's shield will be taken down. Not all the way, you have to throw two balls if I remember correctly, but that's essentially it. But I think that this is probably the, the annoying part for a few people. It's the fact that it's not only taken acolytes, which remember, taken acolytes can spawn in taken uh, or acolyte ice, uh, but they also spawn in taken scions. So there's taken scions in this level. And if you know anything about taken enemies, specifically taken the scions, is that if you let them just chill for a little bit, you'll know that they'll start spawning or reproducing immediately. So you have to be extremely careful not to have like a gang of them just spawn in from you because you don't you weren't prioritizing them. So this one is another one that it's basically you're going to want to. So this one is is another one of those you want you want to expect for ad control. The same thing as I was doing as last week or though, yeah. The same thing I was doing last week, which essentially was just using the sniper rifle for boss damage. I was hitting him with Xenophage here and there, but mostly, most of the time I was just peppering him with my sniper rifle. Mostly because I wanted to kill, or I wanted to save my Xenophage ammo for the Scions, so that way I can just destroy all of them. Because even if you kill all of them, there's a chance that one of them might come out because the game lag the reproduction animation so i would just highly recommend you have something bursty like that i would not recommend like something like a rocket launcher mostly because a that's suicide if you're trying to go for the solo flawless i never use a rocket or a grenade launcher i'm just too paranoid for it and even if i wasn't going for the solo flawless i would never use a rocket launcher the rocket launcher is just like no even with the 30 percent buff they're getting next week i don't care like i'm not going to use it so Xenophage was great because it was basically an area of effect damage that I could do that all of the science can die. That's probably one of my favorite aspects about it. So I highly recommend Xenophage. Again, you can use whatever you want. I was using a scout rifle for this because in those cases that I didn't want to go over there because for whatever reason, like the boss is right there or something, then I had a scout rifle that I could just use. And for boss damage, obviously I was using my sniper rifle. And for super, I was using bottom tree void, which has the invisibility. That's the one I was using. I'm not going to talk about classes too much specifically because I, you, you should know your own class. I'll probably mention something like maybe in the beginning, but overall each class has like a few, we'll talk about that later. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. So last but not least, we have the last boss, which is basically two legionnaires so this one was surprising because i was expecting just a singular boss but it was actually two bosses and it was the most annoying one because it had an enemy type that i kind of fucking hate so let's talk about the bosses real quick so you have two legionnaires both with arc shields a take take and thrall everywhere and then taken hobgoblins so the thrall themselves i hate i hate taking thrall because they teleport too much and it's just annoying to kill them taking hobgoblins though they will be they will make or break it for you because taking hobgoblins will fuck you up if you're not careful i would say spec for ad control mostly because the two legionnaires they're not really that hard uh you would definitely want them separated but as you guys can see i was not using something super meta i was using fourth horseman which is bursty but it's not the most bursty. I could have used anything else really. So this was really me just, I love fourth horseman, which is why I was using it. But because I wanted to show you guys, this is not hard. It's literally just surviving. Like every encounter can just be summed up to just survive and you'll eventually kill it. So yeah, as you guys can see, I was using top tree void for this one, mostly because the dodge on, or the invisibility in the, in the invisibility on dodge, is just better not only that i was using my uh the helmet that gives you health back i forget what it's called but yeah i was using that for my hunter because as 
from the gameplay, I'll, I'm going to show you guys how many times I've almost died because I didn't have that. So if you think that's just a PvP weapon or helmet, it's not. It's a really good PvE helmet as well. So this boss was not really that hard. I would, if you were to ask me, like, I don't want to use fourth horseman. What else do I use? You could use an arc weapon for your energy and then like a heavy hitter for your, your heavy weapon. I would do that if you really don't want to use uh, something up close, mostly because it is annoying. I, I will say using fourth horseman was kind of annoying because you have to hit all of the shots. Not only that, but I was not expecting both those bosses to be that meaty. So I will say this one was probably the longest one, mostly because I was not expecting their health to be that fat. So that's really it honestly like i said if i was if i mentioned shields like solar shield arc shield all that make sure to bring that sh that weapon uh, that has that burn because if you don't again all of these have match made so it'll take you forever to take them down so highly suggest whatever weapon you want to use it's really hard for me to make make recommendations because next season we might have better weapons which i hope to god we do so that's really it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let ah, actually uh, subclass and whatnot. So for the hunter, you can really use anything. Uh, I ended up using what? It's not shards of gallon or blade brush. I was I used blade brush for the first week's boss. Did not have an issue with it. It's really what you do with it is what really matters. But I know that's a half-ass excuse. So let's talk about hunters. You can use any of the void trees except middle tree. That's for real that like you're gonna want to stay away from middle tree void it's good in pvp but not not in pve specifically this one it is good in pve but not in this encounter for the solar you can use pretty much any tree in solar tree for hunter mostly because every tree can really fuck up all the enemies the specifically bottom tree solar could really do you work for any of the bosses aside from the Taken bot to the, the Taken Knight, mostly because I think the Taken Knight only has a, a certain amount of damage it can it can take until it becomes immune. Other than that, go ham. Actually, that goes for the captain as well. So either way, go for Arc. I wouldn't recommend Arc at all. You could do it. I just wouldn't recommend it. But if I you were to tell me like I want I want to run Arc, then do bottom tree arc i think that would be the best one so let's talk about oh, titan so titans honestly let's void let's talk about void real quick void can do you really really good top tree can do you really good considering that is the one with the bubble and the shield on melee so that one is really good and viable actually i would tell you that one's probably the best with the middle one being the second best and third one being the least not saying it's bad just i don't think it would be good in this encounter middle tree on the other hand would be pretty good in this encounter if you pair it up with uh with the with the gauntlets that get get you uh your super back when you use your super i forgot what it's called uh i'm a i'm a i'm a content creator can you tell <laughs> but that that would be my recommendations for void for solar you can use honestly bottom tree i think bottom tree is going to be the best choice for titans for stellar specifically mostly because you get the health on sunspots and you get just a bunch of benefits from sunspots themselves so i would just recommend you run sunspots uh i wouldn't recommend any of the other ones i mean maybe middle tree because if you get the the ability time multiplier active then i think that would be pretty good but i just don't think how I just don't know if it would be that viable and then top tree i don't think is viable at all i mean you have the the shoulder charge but i just personally don't think that's good enough to run it it does give uh what is it a debuff to the boss i think but i just wouldn't recommend it for arc i wouldn't recommend you use arc either like arc is just not good for this encounter if you want to use arc you could use middle tree i think middle tree would be the best one because when you slide on and an, on a brick of ammo you do get that nice buff but other than that the super is not good the 
actually that's it just the super is not good i mean i like the i like the melee a lot if you run it specifically with the doom marchers you can put in some work especially for the thrall room or the thrall boss specifically the legionnaires that one would be pretty interesting to see other than that that's pretty much it so let's talk about last but not least warlocks warlocks let's go void first void which is the weird thing you can pretty much use almost everything except middle tree so bottom tree is the void uh the one that gives you health i forget what it's called but you eat your grenade get your health back and once you have that procced each kill gives you health i think that one's gonna be the best one for you especially since you get a really good super as well you drop your super on the boss it's doing constant damage on top of the damage you're already doing to him so personally i would think that i think that one would be the best one you could also run top tree void because top tree void is the one where you charge your grenade and that one is fucking good especially if you run it with certain uh, exotics so i think bottom tree and top tree both have their strengths bottom tree is something if you want to stay alive and top tree is if you want to put out meaty damage for middle tree i would just wouldn't recommend it at all uh solar obviously solar you can do middle tree i think middle tree is going to be the best one don't even look at the other classes you can look at maybe top tree to like really get that speed up and like dodge shit but other than that middle tree is going to be your best friend don't don't even talk to me about bottom tree actually bottom tree and nah, it's fine it's fine don't don't do it just just do middle tree uh and last but not least for for arc i would actually re recommend you to go to middle tree obviously middle tree is pretty cracked right now so i think that one would be the best one for you mostly because if you pair that with like geomags then you could not only do more damage but you get your super faster so i, I it's just better ultimately all of my <clears throat> ultimately all of my choices that i've given you or my recommendations more to say it's just my recommendations obviously you can use whatever you want i mean if you want to go ham and use something that i said was not good just to, and spite to spite me go go bro hands down tell me how it went in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media all the links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support and i will see you guys later